Hello designers! Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a cool word art effect using photopia.com. We are basically going to be starting out with a word and we are going to be filling that word with text after we convert the word into a shape. We're going to be using our character and paragraph panels to edit the text and we are going to finish off our design using our layer effects to add drop shadows and strokes. Let's get started by creating a new document. We're going to select the screen preset, we're going to select full HD, and we're going to name our document. I'm just going to zoom in so I can see more clearly what I'm doing. Then using my type tool, I'm going to drag out a text box that covers the most of my document, as you can see here, and I'm going to type in a word. By highlighting the word and going to my options bar with the type tool selected, I can go and select a different font. And I can also highlight over the size to make the text bigger and take up more space on my document. I'm just gonna center it. And then I'm going to right click on the type layer and select convert to shape. You'll see that now the thumbnail is no longer a T in my layers panel. It is now just showing me a basic shape layer. I'm going to click on the type tool again and click inside of the A. Before I type up anything, I'm just going to lower the size of my text drastically. Right now I'm selecting 24 pixels or points if you're on Photoshop. And I'm going to select a more basic serif font. In this case, I'm using one called Esteban. Because Photopia does not have a placeholder text generator, I'm basically using this Lorem Ipsum generator I found online to generate several different paragraphs of placeholder text. It really doesn't mean anything, it's just gibberish in Latin, but I'm going to go ahead and copy it so that I can use it in my project. And I will link this for you guys in the description box to this video. Then basically I just pasted by clicking Control V inside of the letter and you might think, well I can't see it, but if I go and make the art layer invisible, you'll see that um, it's there. To make it easier on myself, I'm just going to go and change the letter, um, I'm sorry, the color of that art layer to yellow or something light so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And it doesn't really matter that it's a very obnoxious yellow because I will not make it visible in the end. With the type layer selected where I pasted the lore Ipsum, I just opened up the character panel. You can find it under Window and Character. And I'm editing the size, the letting, and eventually the orientation. I want to avoid spaces in between each paragraph of the placeholder text. If I go and flip over to the paragraph panel, you can see I have several different options for the orientation of my text. Right now, I just changed it to left align and center align and then justified. I'm going to select the very last option called justify all and you can see it helps to distribute the text so it touches the borders of the letter form. I just went and increased the size a little bit and I'm happy with it so I'm able to now click on the art layer again, select my type tool and start filling in the R with lorem ipsum again. Using the same exact process, I'm just trying to eliminate any spaces in between each paragraph of text. Click on the art layer again and do the exact same thing so I can fill the T with text. Now that I filled each of those letter forms, I can go and make the art layer invisible by toggling the, toggling the little eye icon in the layers panel. 
and I'm just gonna go and add a color fill background layer with any color that you happen to like. I feel like you're using a lilac lavender kind of color today. You can always double click on the color fill layer and change the color later on if you change your mind. Now I want to start applying some effects to the text, but I don't want to have to do each layer individually. So I'm going to select each layer and group it by clicking that little folder icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And then by double clicking on that group, I can start applying several different layer effects to the text itself. You can see I'm starting off with some gradients and adjusting the angle and scale in which I see the gradients. Not sure that's such a great idea using this gradient layer, but you can see that I keep editing my work using several different other effects until I achieve the effect that I'm going for, something a little bit more three-dimensional and colorful. Here I'm just adjust adjusting the angle and color of a drop shadow before I go and add a subtle one pixel stroke around each of the words in the design. I wasn't crazy with the brightness of that gradient, so I lowered the opacity slightly before clicking OK to save my changes. I'm pretty much done with my design for now. I think it looks good, so I'm ready to export it by going to File, Export As, and selecting PNG for my final draft. And that pretty much sums it up. Can't wait to see what you guys create.